Hey guys, we're back at the vet. I know, and I'll explain. Hold on one second. Hey guys, welcome back to Life with 18 Cats. I'm Kim if you're new here, welcome. Hopefully you're having a good day. So, um. As you know, we had the kitties, six of the kitties in to get their rabies shots yesterday. One of those was Figaro, and this morning Mr. Figs was not feeling so good. He didn't want to get out of bed. He didn't want to do anything. He didn't want to eat. He didn't want to drink. He didn't want to nothing. He's very lethargic, and I'm a little worried. So we made an appointment, and we came to the vet clinic, and I'm going to turn you around. Hold on one second. Hey, Figures. Where's the Figures? So here's baby Figs this morning. Yeah, he's not feeling so hot. He does have a little bit of a temperature. She just took his temperature, and now we're waiting for the vet to come in. But we are here. We are going to get some some tests done and stuff. We're going to see what's going on with him. I don't know if it's a reaction from the rabies shot because they did say that it can affect them the same way a flu shot affects us, where we might feel icky for a couple of days. But um, we don't know that for sure, and I don't want to take any chances. So here we are. Hot figures. Sniff, sniff, kiss. Oh, you can still do sniff, sniff, kiss. Thank you, baby boy. But I will keep you guys posted. So, yeah, here's little figures. We're at the vet. We got a little bit of a fever. We're not feeling so hot. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I trust the vet's going to do a good job taking care of them if I know what's wrong. So, stay tuned. And we're home. So, what did we have done? So, I had them do an um, a blood a blood draw so they can send that out for a panel test. Um, just to make sure that there's nothing going on with him um, that we just don't see on the outside. They gave him some subcutaneous, I want to say that right, they gave him basically an injection of fluids right underneath his skin on the back of his neck. I think that's called sub subcutaneous fluids. Yeah. And then they also gave him an anti-inflammatory because like I said, he has a temperature of 104, which is up from 102.5. That's the high end of normal. For kitties. So I got a thermometer. Didn't we figure well? Yes, we did. We stopped and got a thermometer. And I am going to take his temperature again tonight around 430 and then call the vet clinic and let them know what his temperature is. Hopefully it'll be down by then. So yeah, so we won't get the blood the blood test results back until the beginning of next week, but I wanted to keep you guys posted as to what we're doing and how we're taking care of little figs. Oh, tired boy. As you can see, we are home and he is snuggling with a bunch of his brothers and sisters right now on the bed. He has not eaten yet, but I'm hoping that that will change when it comes to dinner time. We'll keep an eye on it and I will keep you guys posted on that as well. So anyways, that is our little morning with figs. Hopefully you guys learned something and yeah, hopefully this helps somebody in the future that may have something like this come up and they know, then you know, maybe you guys have a better idea of what to, what to do and where to start and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!